In this video, I want to share what it's like to transfer your current eSIM to your new iPhone, what the process looks like and what you can expect along the way. Have the two phones near each other and just power on the new iPhone. I'll fast forward here and there just to keep things moving. I'm using Mint Mobile eSIM here. It should work the same with most carriers. Once it's on, just swipe up to unlock and follow the steps. Select your language and country. Choose which appearance and continue. A pop-up will appear in your previous iPhone to set up new iPhone. Tap continue, then use Face ID or your passcode to move forward. Scan the unique pattern that shows up in your new iPhone using your previous iPhone. If you're already familiar with the setup, you can use the timestamp to jump straight to the eSIM section. Tap Setup for me. Enter the passcode of your previous iPhone. Notice at the top of the screen, your new phone will connect to Wi-Fi. I'd suggest plugging them in, especially the new one, since it's running low. You can choose to run a software update now, but just know you'll need to scan the unique pattern again and restart from there. I prefer updating now, just in case there's anything important. No worries, you'll see me go through it again, since I can just fast forward. If you choose to update in between like me just now, just go through the steps again, but, 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 you'll have to turn off and on the current phone to be able to continue. As you can see, unlock with your face ID or passcode to continue. Scan again. Set up for me again. Passcode of your previous iPhone. Fast forwarding here. Data and privacy, just select continue. I suggest choosing set up later for most of these since they can interrupt the transfer process. Here you can choose which are most appropriate for you. For me, transfer from iPhone. Agree to terms and conditions. I would continue here or you can customize. For this, for me, I'll turn on location services. Add this card later. This card later also. Set up later. Just continue. I know we haven't seen the eSIM part yet, but it's coming up soon. It's a bit behind for some reason. Set up later again. If you're testing Apple beta software, just tap continue. Continue again. Transferring data. Device added to your account, select OK. Speeding it up here. Once data transfer is complete, the new phone will restart. Again, device added to your account, select OK.
the new phone is now more alive. You'll see Restore completed. Just select Continue. I would set up later again. Here's where your new iPhone will then activate the number or transfer the eSIM. Select Transfer from iPhone with the phone number. Select Transfer Number. Double click the side button to confirm on the previous iPhone. You'd have to wait a little bit here. You can see here that the signal from the previous phone is transferring to the new one. The SOS is now gone. There it is. And the signal is now transferred to the new one. Your number is now active on this iPhone. Select Continue. And yes, on the previous phone. Transfer is now complete. Continue. You can choose to erase or not on the previous phone. I will here. Everything is pretty much done. Just carry on before select getting started. And you have to confirm to erase the previous iPhone. Once the apps finish downloading and installing, I'll turn off Wi-Fi to show you it works outside as well. I'll fast forward to get there. The previous phone is now erased and ready to hand down to my mom. Now that the apps are done, let's turn off Wi-Fi. And there it is, you can see 5G. That's all I've got. Thank you for watching. Do come back for the next video.